swine flu has become a growing issue over the past few months. However, that does not mean you have any reason to panic. This film will give you some basic advice that will make a big difference in keeping you healthy during your time at university. Swine flu is a virus called H1N1, which is a flu virus that can live in pigs. Eventually, somewhere along the way, the virus mutated and has become susceptible to humans. Like any virus, it attacks your white blood cells to try and break down your immune system, and as this is something your body isn't used to, it's more than likely going to win. Swine flu is different from seasonal flu in that it's a new virus. However, the way it's dealt with is like seasonal flu. It's really important that you're aware of what the symptoms of swine flu are, so you can tell the difference between the sniffles and what could be swine flu. The early warning signs to look out for are fever and any two of the following symptoms. Headaches, cold-like symptoms, tiredness, sickness and diarrhoea. In general, it's a very mild virus, um, a mild illness and people will be symptomatic for about um, a week maximum. If you are showing two or more of those symptoms, there's no reason to panic, but you should report your condition straight away and follow these simple steps. To get a diagnosis, you can call the National Pandemic Flu Hotline, who will assess you over the phone. You can also use the online symptoms checker, which is a great tool. If you are diagnosed with swine flu, the first call you should make is to the university. They are well prepared to take care of any student who contracts a virus, so the sooner you let them know, the sooner they can help. You should follow the advice given to you by the university regarding whether you should stay where you are or return home. Next thing, you'll need to contact a friend or family member who can be your flu buddy. This is someone who can help look after you and collect your prescription if you should have one. And most of all, rest. Stay in bed, drink plenty of fluid and let the virus run its course. It may not be the most comfortable week of your life, but you'll be back on your feet before you know it. It's a really good idea for you to keep checking both the universities and the NHS pages on swine flu. This will mean you're always up to date with the latest developments and information on how you should prepare yourself. If you've got uh, flu symptoms or if you're near people with flu symptoms, wash your hands regularly. If you do have symptoms of flu, make sure if you cough or sneeze, you cover your mouth with a tissue. The message is that students don't have to alter their lifestyle dramatically. Um, live your life as normal. If you're well, do what you'd normally do. Whether this is your first year or your last year, make sure you have the best time possible at university. The swine flu pandemic isn't something you should spend time worrying about, but it is something you should be aware of. As long as you know what the risks are, you can protect yourself and get back to having the best three years of your life. Remember, the number you need to call if you think you're shown symptoms is the National Pandemic Flu Hotline on 0800 1513 100. Alternatively, you can visit www.pandemicflu.direct.gov.uk where you can find updates about the virus and check your symptoms online. Please note, the information contained in this film was correct at the time it was produced. You should regularly check the NHS and Health Protection Agency's web pages for the latest updates and information regarding swine flu in your area.